After him, everyone forgot you. No one remembers you anymore. Grazing your herds across fields and pastures, little did you know what it takes to fall for him. Really, you knew nothing. Himself falling prey to some romance of sorts, intoxicated by the chase and the desire to win, he came seeking to you. A million earnest entreats stand, folding their hands in his palace in Mathura. Amidst a thousand wives and consorts, a pleasing Satyabhama and an ever so charming Rukmini, his life sorts itself into one prosperous melodrama. What happened to you then, the deceived, turnful demigoddess? With you, dropped, forgotten, he, dressed as a sage, still lives in great glory, age after age, as the divine puppeteer of an august epic. And in the glory of his flute, enchanted by its tune, you still float, avowed, unclaimed. No one ever saw you in the race to conquer him. Lost in him, you never unfurled your scarf. No one heard you proclaim. Sans Palace, you have just waited for him, quietly along the banks. It's for him and the amiss, your true cry for the wrong man, that in spite of the trails of some ultimate emotions, nobody even cared to find you out. I feel sad for you. I feel pity for you. I get very angry on you. After him, what was left of you? What was left of you, girl? Tell me. Did even he ever take you seriously? All you were left with is a metaphor. Can he, with the enormous power of his charm and by virtue of his music, conquer a woman's heart? 
This is why he came seeking to you. Not you, but the truth. And you foolish girl, thinking of him as the best resort, leaving everything behind, your home, your husband, were wandering the streets through the grey between black and white. And leaving you behind, he took his flute and strode off to a new city. The country, even today, smitten by his adorable mien, stands powerless to withstand or deny him. Does anyone remember anything about your legend? Radhika's legend? Sundari.